it will never not be funny to me that billionaire Elon Musk basically bought Twitter specifically so he could impress his right wing friends and boost his own posts, get more clout for being the owner of Twitter. Now, this has basically been confirmed over the course of the last couple of weeks. And it's really embarrassing. And what does he do? He chooses to joke about all of the pathetic things that he's done as the owner of Twitter. Hey, Elon, if you want people to like you, why don't you just make Twitter work again? That would be one place to start. I mean, Twitter, since he's taken over, since he's fired so many engineers, doesn't function in the way that it used to. The platform sometimes is broken and unusable, but instead he just wants to make sure that we prioritize seeing his dumb banal tweets first. So let's go to The Verge here, where they explain in recent weeks, Musk has been obsessed with the amount of engagement his posts are receiving. Last week, Platformer broke the news that he fired one of two remaining principal engineers at the company after the engineer told him that views on his tweets are declining in part because interest in Musk has declined in general. His deputies told the rest of the engineering team this weekend that if the engagement issue wasn't fixed, they would all lose their jobs as well. This reminds me of Dr. Evil. I mean, imagine pulling engineers into a room and saying, you better make sure people see my tweets and people like my tweets, otherwise you're fired. This is embarrassing. Like if you gave Twitter to a 12 year old, I can guarantee that any random 12 year old you pluck from the street would be more mature and handle this website, like be the lead of this website in a much more competent way than Elon Musk. This is what he prioritized. Now, what was really the straw that broke the camel's back for Elon Musk was the fact that his dumbass Super Bowl tweet didn't get as much engagement as Joe Biden's, this tweet in particular, because apparently everybody was supposed to cream in their pants over this tweet where he says, go Eagles with a bunch of flag emojis. I just, <laughs> I just, I don't know what to say. Like, if you want people to like your tweets, tweet better, get good. I, I, I like, why do you even care this much? That's the thing. When it comes to Twitter and social media in general, I've really reduced my consumption. I don't use Twitter as much. I rarely ever log on to Facebook anymore unless it's to upload videos to the Humanist Reports YouTube channel. It just, I don't care. I, maybe that's just me. I don't get the dopamine that I used to get from likes and engagement on social media. But for him, that really is the one way that he finds value in life. Because when you have so much money that you can't even spend it, even if you're lucky enough to live to be 10,000 years old, you start looking for other ways to find value and meaning in life. And I'm assuming that social media is where he derives that value. But let's get back to the story here because it gets better because they found a solution for him. Late Sunday night, Musk addressed his team in person. Roughly 80 people were pulled into work on the project, which had quickly become priority number one at the company. Oh my God. Employees worked through the night investigating various hypotheses about why Musk's tweets weren't reaching as many people as he thought they should and testing out possible solutions. By Monday afternoon, the problem had been fixed. Twitter deployed code to automatically greenlight all of Musk's tweets, meaning his posts will bypass Twitter's filters designed to show people the best content possible. The algorithm now artificially boosted Musk's tweets by a factor of 1,000, a constant score that ensured his tweets rank higher than anyone else's in the feed. I mean, imagine frantically working on something, staying up all night just so that way your boss's tweets get seen more. I feel so bad for the Twitter employees and they need to unionize. But if they do unionize, well, that's not going to go very well for them because Elon Musk is a notorious union buster. More on that in a second here. But let's uh, let's look at the tweet that he made. I don't know if he stole this meme or not because he often does steal memes, but he tweeted this out in response to this story once it went viral. It is a meme where he jokes about how he's basically shoving himself down everyone's throats, and that's apparently supposed to make him more endearing and not make him seem like a petulant imbecile. <sighs> what do you even say? What do you even say that hasn't already been said about Elon Musk? Him buying Twitter has, I think, lifted this veil to where people can now see that we don't live in a meritocracy, right? Billionaires aren't rich because they're smart or talented. He's a dumbass. Quite frankly, he's a dumbass and he is deeply unlikable. And the only reason why right-wingers are even giving him the time of day is because he interacts with them. So there's clout. And also because they think that he's going to 
stop the shadow banning or censorship of them on the platform and they're still mad at him he personally runs errands for cat turd that was priority number one when he took over twitter and cat turd still doesn't like him at least last time i checked so it's ridiculous so for him to do this to his employees make them work through the entire night firing them on the spot this is why they need to unionize but here's what happened when a buffalo new york tesla factory tried to unionize in fact last week they sent elon musk a notification letting him know that they do intend to form a union and he fired dozens of them in direct retaliation which is illegal by the way now as kenny stancil explains in a complaint filed with the u.s national labor relations board the union workers united accused the electric vehicle manufacturer of illegally terminating the employees in retaliation for union activity and to discourage union activity, Bloomberg first reported on Thursday. The union asked the NLRB to pursue a federal court injunction to prevent irreparable destruction of employee rights resulting from Tesla's unlawful conduct. Yeah, and that action right there is further evidence as to why anyone who works for Elon Musk needs a union because he will fire you like that for completely arbitrary and childish reasons. You can't do this to people. OK, you are their boss, regardless if they love you or hate you and their livelihood depends on you and your mood seemingly. So you can't just pull the rug out from under them on a whim because they're not giving you an answer that you want or because they want to form a union. Maybe they wouldn't want to form a union if you weren't such a terrible boss. I mean, they should want to since you're exploiting them. I mean, you're a billionaire and they're not. But for you to continuously subject your workers to terrible working conditions like this and punish them when they try to unionize. It's just ridiculous. Remember, he also fired the janitorial staff at Twitter when they try to go on strike. I mean, he is a notorious union buster and he does this because he's getting away with it. So he's a bad person. He's an exploitative asshole. And on top of that, he's just a petty piece of shit. So at this point in time, if you're defending Elon Musk still and he still has many simps, then I think that that says more about you than him i mean because at this point if you can't see that this man is an imbecile and a phony then i think you're just gullible i'm sorry but it's true up yours up yours up yours sons of bitches 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 Whoa, moralists. Whoa, moralists. Whoa, moralists. the dream i saw my maternal grandmother she was stroking herself absent-mindedly i let her have her way genital way. region was exposed. I let her have her way.